Hi guys and welcome back to the Draft of Glory, the final episode of the week. We've done alright uh, up until now. Uh, this week, guys, yesterday's video, we packed a man of the match, which I wasn't expecting. We've also got rid of Turan. There's a lot of stuff on the trade pile now to be get rid of. Nothing's got a bid on. I can't seem to get rid of that kit. So uh, I'll just discard it now and get it out of the way. Um, but there is literally 15,000 coins sat in the account. And I'm hoping that I can list a fresh one in a few weeks' time to get rid of it. And hopefully someone buys it fresh rather than... Um, uh, rather than getting it now for discard, otherwise it's just a discard man of the match. So if you guys do want any MSP, PSN codes or cheat game codes, guys, go and check out G2A.com, their link is down below. If you're trying to hit over 5,000 likes, they're brilliant, subscribe to me if you're not subscribed already. So I'm going to go to the 4 3 2 one, a formation which I'm comfortable with. We have actually hit the point where we've actually started getting negative. Regardless of if you win or lose drafts, guys, it's not a good state, isn't the, um, is, isn't the draft. It's very rare this stage of FIFA to make some money. Now, picks... Ibrahimovic we used last time. I wasn't a fan of Ibrahimovic, um, to be fair. Wasted a lot of opportunities. Um, but we haven't gone Premier League um, much this week. We have got Luis Suarez in the striker position. Um, so I think I'll go, I don't know, which way, which way would you go? 94 Ibra or 93 Suarez. That's the two I'm torn between. I'll go with the Ibrahimovic guys. I've not used him. Let's see how he is. I've not used that card. I've used a 93 card. Don't get me wrong. We get Messi. We get Bale. Um... No one to link with Ibra yet. Could go Bale. Uh, potential Ramsey to link with Bale. I'll do that. Just in case we do get Ramsey and he is a key. Hoping for... A Manchester United player. It hasn't happened. Ibrahimovic may end up being... A super sub. Interesting. Interesting. Which means we need to get a La Liga striker. In the middle we get Wass. Perez is alright. Uh, sorry, not Was Hernandez, isn't it? Uh, Perez is an alright, well-rounded card, but I'll go with uh, with Hernandez, and then in the centre midfield position on the middle, Variety Pogba. There's no one to link with any players there, so I'll take that 90-rated Pogba just in case we end up bringing him on as a sub, guys, and then hoping for La Liga now. We haven't even got La Liga now. Shit, a lot of Napoli players. Uh, Brazilian. No French. I'll go with Hamsit, guys. 87 rated. So currently we've got three La Liga players and three non La Liga players. Two of them BPL. Um, oh, that's a nice card, that one. Inform Alba. I'll take that, guys, for the uh, centre back position. Right back, let's see what we need in the middle uh, after this. We get Philip Lam, Aurier, and Danny Alves. Um, Florenzi? Or should I just go with rating and then hope? Um, which would be easier? There isn't. There is a German. Is there a German defender in La Liga? I think there is. There is an Italian. There's. There's a. Is a Brazilian. Uh, I'm tempted to just go Lamb for rating, guys. Um, even because I'm looking just to take them. Them a lot of these players out. We get Inform Alderweireld. See if we'd have took Florenzi now, he would have linked. I'll go with the uh, Benucci. And fingers crossed, we can take him out. Uh, in a bit, and now we've still got a lot to do. We've got good players in every position, don't get me wrong, guys. Um, but, right, there's a Napoli player there, but Albiol would link uh, better, actually. Oh, no, it means swapping them over, doesn't it? We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. There's, no, there's a lot of dead links. Chemistry is massive, massive issue. We do get a shit pick now. Um, no, Serie A. Argentina wasn't a link. Uh, literally go with rating on this one, guys. Go with uh, Butel. And now we... I don't know if it's going to throw a silver goalkeeper at me, you know. We need a decent goalkeeper, so I'm going to avoid that. We need decent defenders as well. So I'll move straight to the midfielders and attackers and see what we get. And hopefully um, we get something to throw in there. We do. We get Garcia with a Hunter Chem style on. He can go there. Swap them two around. Bosch, 68 Chem. Next um, player... Carrasco, he would fit in nicely, to a point anyway, so we'll go with uh, Carrasco, he would be on low chem if I, if I played him in the centre mid, but still non, uh, a good player nonetheless, we get McTarian, so if I take McTarian, play him in the right wing, put Pogba there, and then we just need 
We're looking a little bit better. Obviously, we still need some massive changes to team, but we'll wait and see. Right, so we still haven't got the silver picks. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a silver pick for the goalkeeper. It's not. Roberto and Edison. So there's no Serie A, so we'll take that Roberto card for Santander in case we can potentially get some decent centre-backs. Socrates, Lichsteiner, Manalas. Did we have a Roma player in? We didn't. Um... Lichsteiner. Could go Lichsteiner. Go Lichsteiner. Put him in there. Swap them two round. And the goalkeeper. Which goalkeeper do we have? We're a Spanish goalkeeper. So 92 chem. And still some potential more picks as well uh, to throw into the team. Another Felipe Luis. Oh, Valencia. And that takes chem to Pogba as well. I'll go with Valencia. Um, he can jump in to Pogba. Keeps the chem the same. But still looking to pull certain players out. Mainly the centre midfield and, and Ronaldo's on low chem as well currently. We get Coutinho, we get Asamoa. Um, but can't get him to link at this current time. But he would with Lichsteiner actually and take the chem up. Uh, Mertens wouldn't do anything. Coutinho wouldn't do anything either. So I'll go. I'll go with Asamoah. Take Pogba. Actually, I could. I could. Boom. Take him out. Swap them two round. Eighty-six chem. Uh, take Valencia out and put in Lichsteiner. Takes us to ninety-eight chemistry. It's a little bit of a weird hybrid, to be fair, but it seems to be doing all right. It depends what we get in the free picks. So we get a Spanish centre back. Which would work. Alvaro, he would work and he would jump straight into the team and take us to 100 chem. So the only players who are not on full chem currently are Ronaldo, who's on six, and Paul Pogba. Both absolutely amazing cards regardless. Uh, but let's see what we're getting the free pits, guys. Low chemistry, um, but definitely some decent uh, attacking options if needed. Uh, no one in here, guys, so we'll take that Insignia card. Final three. Rashford. Lopez. Who have we got in net? Who have we got in net? An 80 rated goalkeeper. I may as well take him, guys. Rashford. Actually, Rashford in the left wing position might be alright. And it would get Kem to Pogba. Yeah, we'll go with we'll go with Rashford. Uh, Rashford can jump in there, guys. And literally. He's the only player not on full chemistry. We're looking good. We've, we've done all right, yeah? Free league hybrid. Made some... Uh, oh, 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 sorted. Absolutely sorted, guys. We get the informed Manchester United Depay to start off with. Now, everybody's on full chemistry. It's a triangle. Don't get me wrong, but it's a nice-looking team. Ronaldo, super sub, um, which I've always wanted to get anyway. And we'll take... Actually, could we take... So we could take Viviano um, over. We could take Viviano over that keeper, and I'm going to do so to get the rating up, guys. So I'm going to take Viviano um, in the in the goalkeeper position, and that is a nice looking team to finish off the week. Whether we win with it, that's a different matter. But I am fucking impressed with that. For for me, I'm impressed with that, guys. There was a lot of changes and stuff, but we've managed to do it. We'll. Uh, We'll put Rashford on the bench as well, but more likely Bale Carrasco. That is nice. The only player I'll probably take out of that team, guys, is going to be uh, Garcia. And then later on in the game, after Depay and Ibrahimovic don't run riot, we've got the likes of Bale. Yeah, literally got a new front three and stuff. So, yeah, pretty sweet. If you guys have enjoyed this draft, leave a like it. And I'm pretty impressed with it. I don't know if you guys will be happy. We have got a lot of shit the past couple of weeks, guys. But fingers crossed this one um, will impress you a tad bit. We get a French, which takes to one. Uh, Swiss will take to one. He won't do anything. English. We haven't even got any English players in there. So it'll probably be the French. French? Or Swiss. Doesn't really matter, does it, guys? Everyone's on 10 chemistry. Uh, apart from the, the Spanish. So I'll take the Pro League French manager. 
And that's the job done. 187 rated draft. Some nice fucking players in there. And uh, a lot of bent decent bench players as well. One of the best drafts I've done, I think, in my opinion. But it's whether we can win with it. That's going to be the problem. Hopefully we can. Let's go and get into the games, guys, and see how we do. So guys, that is the most perfect draft I've ever seen in my life. That is a pretty good one for me, I must add. And uh, our first opponent, 5 at the back, 91 chemistry, solid, solid team. But an interesting start to the game, which you guys will see. He's got the Inform and Titi, he's got the um, Inform Hazard, uh, also Inform uh, Higuain. And from the result in throwing guys in the first couple of minutes, he passed it straight back to the goalkeeper uh, here and puts it into the back of the net. I have no idea what's going on. FIFA 16, I would understand that, because a lot of YouTubers used to do that, build drafts and then want to build another one, so they go into the game and give the other person the win. And this guy did this to me, very interesting, I've not seen it in FIFA 17 yet, from kickoff guys takes a shot which is obviously going to go into the keeper's hands and decides to leave the game. Easy progression. And I wanted to test out the team as well. So next opponent guys are coming up against George Best, Cavani, uh, Inform Lacazette as well, the downgraded Ben Arthur, Untep, um, a nice Liga Un team as well with a few Frenchies thrown in there with uh, Lloris, Sacco and... Um, and Sizoko in it. Yeah, Sizoko in the right back position. Um, but a, few, a very, very nice looking team. But our team is just so strong. Looks so nice, guys. McTarian linking with Ibra. Ibra through to Raul Garcia. Gets it through to McTarian. 1 0, 22nd uh, minute of the game, guys. This team played absolutely amazing um, in the first 22 minutes of playing with this team. team um, defensively, offensively was awesome. Ibra as a target man striker is very, very good, um, even though he does give the way uh, a bit as well, which is a little bit annoying. We take advantage of a loose ball here. McTarian back heels it to uh, Raul Garcia, and what a shot that is from Raul Garcia. And he is actually one of the people which I did sacrifice and bring on some more players as well. Just before half time, we intercept a ball here and in the uh, defence Pobble with the ball through to Ibra Ibra down to Raul Garcia Garcia through to Ibra Ibra through to Matarian a nice team goal there guys makes it 3-0 before half time absolutely solid um, loads of fun I was having with this team actually really really enjoying it and uh, then in the second half guys just after kickoff, we break through here nice bit of skill there and uh, we get it all the way back to Carrasco who does put it in and makes it 4-0 nice finish nice result and does see me into the semi-final already guys even though um, literally I've only played one game technically uh, so our semi-final opponent does have uh, the inform Insigne Messi um, Aguero Asamoah Turan Team of the Year Cruz Team of the Year PK Carvajal Inform Benucci Alexandro and uh, the downgraded Pepe Reina as well Nice team, 100 chem, even though I think Turan isn't getting full chem. Neither's Insigne and neither is Sergio Aguero either. We break through um, and then get caught on the counter, guys, as Aguero. Um, someone intercepted the ball, gets it through to Aguero, and in a free run, getting it through to Insigne. 27 minutes into the game, guys, and we were 1-0 down. From a result in uh, another attack by my opponent, we took advantage of his players being forward at this point. Bale through to Ronaldo. Bale gets the ball, um, picks it up nicely, inside through to Pogba, Pogba through to Ibra, and Ibra's got a clean run on goal, guys, and is able to put it past the keeper to make it 1-1. Nice finish, but this was going to be a very difficult game, and the chances we were getting were not as fast as they have been in the other games. Ronaldo absolutely does the defence here, gets a nice run in, nice bit of, um, well, I don't know, what do you call that nice? It was a fake shot, wasn't it? Luckily gets the ball through to Pogba, Pogba through to Ibra, scoop turn, bounces to Ronaldo, Ronaldo to Ibra, simple, messy goal, but the goals are important. 2-1 in the lead in the 39th minute, and as soon as we scored, we were on the defensive. Insigne with the ball here, links it through to Lionel Messi, Messi... Uh, gets the ball intercepted, but it goes back to Aguero. Aguero lines it up for a weird angled shot, and it sinks in off the post. I have not seen a shot like that before in FIFA. Uh, very, very nice goal, and uh, back on level terms. 53rd minute, we are still on the attack. You see the gap there. Pogba runs on through. Could have put it in. Takes advantage of Ibra being next to him. Simple tapping, guys. 3-2. Back into the lead in the 54th minute. And the final goal of the game comes in the 85th, guys, with Ibra Himmich with the ball. Fake shot back. Through to Pogba, same running again, sees the gap through to McTarian, and McTarian gets simple goal, guys. 4 2 and into the final. We need this, we need this after the runs we've had this week and uh, a very dominant game. But you can see the opponent's chances he did have two shots on target and two goals. Up against this team, two players not on full chemistry, maybe three. Yeah, maybe four, maybe four players not on full chem there. 96 chemistry, guys, Dybala, Messi, um, Team in the group stage, Luis, and also Inform Alderweireld, Inform Walker, Luis, um, 
and uh, Varane. Some nice looking players in his team. He goes for a corner and the brutal counter attack appears, guys. Ronaldo through to Ibra. Ibra gets the ball, tries to get the angle and then he just backed off and backed off. Three on one. Two on one. Ronaldo with the ball, guys. He scores. One one. 1-1, one, 1-0, one. One nil. One nil in the 19th minute, we are up in the lead and uh, cruising at this point as well. Augusto linking up with Sal, Sal through to uh, uh, Messi and Messi gives the ball away, intercepted nicely. Asamo with the ball gets it through to Ibra, Ibra lines it up to get it into Ronaldo, Ronaldo back to Ibra and that was a nice block by Walker but unfortunately he bounces straight back to Ibra who does make it 2-0 and puts us into a comfortable position. 43rd minute, a long through ball down to Ibra Himovic, he's got the strength, he's even got the pace actually to sell him with a skill move, gets it, rebounds it to Ronaldo who scores a brilliant finesse shot, 3-0 and at that point... Uh, I could tell that my opponent was going to rage quit uh, sometime soon, but I couldn't tell when. 56 minute guys, Eber with the ball, goes for a, um, a spin move, but is wiped out in the area. Kyle Walker giving away a penalty and uh, letting us get another free shot. This would make it 4-0 if we did score the penalty as well. Eber doing a little bit too much on the penalty, stepping back, stepping to the middle, stepping even further back, and then you think he's going to do a slow penalty, but he speeds up here, levers it into the right left-hand side, and uh, does make it 4 4 0. From the goal, guys, my opponent did decide to press the start button and uh, rage quit this game here in the 57th minute. So, another draft final victory, two in a row, and uh, we got some decent packs last time, but you're in for a treat today, guys. A real treat. And there we are, guys, two draft victories in a row yesterday and today. If the packs can be pretty sweet and make us some money, that'd be awesome, but more than likely, guys, we're not going to make any money back as uh, EA Sports never seems to reward the uh, draft people who uh, plow through all the time. So, we we are close to the 1.3 million we were at. Lost a lot of money this week, guys. Mainly down to... Oh, shit! The ultimate reward, guys. We have got Jumbo Premium Gold Pack... 45,000 coins, which makes all the money back from this week, and the rare player pack. So, I cannot say thank you enough to EA as we have just made our money back, guys. So, if we can get anything in the packs as well, that would be absolutely sweet. Um, but we got the 45,000 coins for the first time this draft, guys. Maybe it rewarded me for building an insane draft, who knows. So, we get Promes, who I think we got in the last one. So, uh, a few players which I'll just hold on to. Same with them, same with them, and that. Uh, discard the rest but we've got a few players we need to get rid of um there but we get a jumbo rare pack which i think i didn't check what the name was but i'm pretty sure it's a 50k pack as well guys so we'll discard all that and it, yeah it is down to the 50k pack let's see what we get in the 50k pack no walkout come on man of the match again guys and it's the same fucking one we got yesterday <laughs> oh my days right so we get a man of the match anyway 45,000 coins. What a way to end the week. What a way to end the week, guys. Is there anyone else in there with him? We've got Adaris. Um, a lot of decent players. A lot of decent players. A lot of downgrades as well. Um, I'm not sure how much Adaris is going for. Let's have a look. 2.7. No, I may as well hold on to these cards, guys. I don't think any of them. Maybe Kagawa might be selling for the current SBC, which is out. He's not even selling either. Uh, what about... Ox. Ox usually uh, sells. No. He is not. What about Shawcross? No. What about Aspina? Nope. Right. <laughs> right. Okay, guys. We are holding on to all them players. Tim Krul... As you guys know, yesterday, he is worth about 15,000 coins. That is all he's selling for, um, as you can see, an open bid. And that's his discard value anyway. Um, there was like 15k bins of him as well. So we are going to hold on to this card, guys, and probably just keep it on the trade pile um, and sell it fresh in a couple of weeks' time when hopefully someone uh, wants to pay the extra 5k for a fresh card uh, if everyone likes to use and abuse the other ones. But a good, a good start to the week... A shit middle, definite big shit middle, but an absolutely insane finish. And I can't thank you guys um, enough for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's draft, though, just because of how I thought we did absolutely amazing in it. But fingers crossed, um, we, uh, we 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 uh, tickled your fancy. Uh, who knows? Leave a like rating, guys. Subscribe or not, and hopefully next week as well. There should be a nice. I don't know what's coming out. You guys will know what's out. But on Friday, EA said they're releasing something new, which they've never done before. And I'm thinking it's going to be something related to Barcelona's players. So, we've got a good week next week of draft, if it does last. Um, if not, I may take advantage of it and record loads on Sunday, um, like for this team of the week, which is still the uh, current team. No, it's the last team of the week now, isn't it? But yeah, 
two special cards in a row, 45,000 coins. EA did me good today. Really happy with it. <laughs>